we'll book again okay. and go. Yeah, I, okay. I, I was all set up for going to the aquarium and then... <laughs> <laughs> no uh, worries. Okay, I'm so thank you're you. You're now host again. Right, see and I'll you. see you later. Okay, okay. right. Have a bye good bye. rest of the day. Bye. Thank you. All right, we will be live streaming in five minutes. Uh, I look forward to seeing everyone. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, cup of tea, and come and enjoy some time with me.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to class. I couldn't find my unmute button for a second. Lovely to have you in class. Let's make sure that everybody is in class and oh, lots more coming in. Hi, Carol and Tom and Patty, Peggy. Lovely to have all of you in class with me. Carol, whereabouts are you? Where do we find you in America? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina. So is it about 10 o'clock at night now? Yes. Ah, excellent. It's 10 o'clock in the morning for me. Morning, Monique. Where are you? Oh, turn your, press your, your, your mute. Southeast Georgia. Georgia. Okay. And your time? Also 10 o'clock uh, at night? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Yep. 10 p.m. as well. Excellent. And welcome back, Peggy. Lovely to have you in class. And Tom and Patty, where do we find you? Uh, it's Patty only, but I don't know how to change the name. And I'm, Oh, okay. Uh, Lester will come in in a minute and um, he'll be able to help you to change the name for you. But lovely to not, have you. And yeah, where just, are you, Patty? Just outside of Chicago. It's nine o'clock here. Nine o'clock in Chicago. Okay, excellent. And I've got a Zoom user coming in. I'm not sure who the Zoom user is, but that is fine. We'll find out who the Zoom user is as well. Welcome everyone to class. Um, today, I hope I can come up with some fun I've got a variety of ideas to keep us occupied when we are feeling, oh, we've got a little bit of time and what are we going to do with that time? There are things that can take a lot of time, things that can take a little time. And in that way, maybe you can come up with some new ideas. Please feel free to unmute at any time and talk because this is an interactive class. There are times where we're going to do some things together. I have one thing that I'm going to try. I haven't done it yet, so I'm hoping it's going to work. Ah, here comes Lester. Lester will be able to help. And uh, hi, Lester. Welcome to class. Lovely to have you back in class with us. Uh, great to see you. Um, and Viola, very nice Viola. And Carol and Laverne, lovely to have you all in class. Excellent. Great to see everybody in class with us. Right. Ah, Carol, how are you today? I have some good news for you, Carol. The class has been approved. So we will be doing pet toys from next week onwards. So uh, it's, I've time? got the go ahead. I don't know yet. They haven't given us our times yet, but it's up. <laughs> I knew you would like that. All right. Um, now, excuse, excuse my voice. Every now and again, it goes a little husky. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's getting to winter, and I think um, my voice is deciding it's, it's a little on the husky side. All right. Uh, let's go and start to share. And um, come on, computer. My computer has been doing funny things today. Fortunately, I can share my screen. Right, I'm going to go into a full screen, but it may decide not to. Um, if it does, then we'll stop sharing. Do you see at the top of the page, um, you, you will see just for a second, it said it was a green line and it says you're seeing Sue's um, screen or Sue is sharing her screen. It would have appeared and then disappeared. Later on, well, I'll show you how to find that again because we're going to play with something on the computer. Right, let's have a look. We are going to learn from each other. So please, interaction between you. Very important that we share ideas. And if somebody's done something, tell us about it. It's very important to do that. Um, you, we, you can request a recording after the class um, at help at getsetup.io. And if you're joining by live streaming, the best way to participate is to actually register and join the class.
uh, get set up, isn't paid. If I mention any product or anything, we don't get paid for it. I usually give you free websites to go to so that you are able to do and see things. So let's have a look and see who we are or what we are going to be doing. Now, a little about me for those of you who don't know me. Um, I live in Perth, Australia. Uh, I've been an educator for 44 years. I still do uh, classes with children. But what I enjoy now is being a get set up guide because I now don't no longer have to teach. I can now just share ideas. And for me, that is really special to be able to do that. Um, I love creating and making things. That's why I do my upcycling and recycling classes. And I also love puzzles of any description. I have time with animals. I enjoy being with animals. And uh, so I do the animal series. Akoa, where are you from? Is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah, so when that's close enough, Akua, Akua Telefero. Akua. Akua. Akua, where does that uh, originate from? Akua. My name? Yeah. Uh, it, it's an ancient name from the Ghana. And the uh, name free. I thought and it was it an is, African uh, name. Yeah. yeah. I come yeah. from South Africa. So when I saw that yeah. name, I, I thought, no, this is a, a, a name from there. So you come from Ghana originally. Um, your no, family. No. Your family. No, Nigeria and Benin, Republic of Benin. Ah, oh, Republic of Benin. Okay, excellent. Um, right. No, excellent to have you in class with me. Fantastic. Okay. Right. Now, let's have a look. There are so many ideas that you can do indoors and outdoors on your own or mixing with others online. So let's just have a look and see how what we can do. We can use a ladder and plant some plants on the patio or even inside, and you can grow your plants. We will talk about all sorts of these. This is like a, like a little mini version of, um, sorry, my computer is definitely not doing what it should today. Uh, let me just make that smaller on the side. I'll have to do it this way, not as a full um, sharing screen. Um, so now, uh, one of the nice things to do, we collect magazines. Over the years, you've collected lots of magazines. Now you're wanting to declutter, but you don't really want to part with those magazines because they might have an article or they might have a picture that evokes something in it. Take your flip files. You can get 20 page, 30 page or 50 page. And then take the pictures for each type of thing that you are collecting and put them into your flip file. Then when you're having your tea or your coffee, you can flip through that and all the things that are related to each other are in the same flip file. And then you can get rid of the magazines and then just have a collection of flip files, much less space taken up. And it's also is a, an activity, busy putting them together, getting the ideas. You might be a gardener, so you'd have gardening ones. You might be somebody who likes to collect recipes. You'd have a recipe one. You might have traveling places I'd love to travel to. Make one of traveling. Make one that's interested in what you're doing with traveling. And you can also do exercise Listening, there are plenty of places you can listen to, playing cards, doing games, and coloring and drawing online, or just downloading and being able to color for yourself. You also get these beautiful pencils nowadays, I got some for Christmas, where you color in and then you use a water pen afterwards on them, and it becomes a really beautiful watercolor. And it looks like you are the best artist in the world. And really, all you've done is colored in and then used the water to join the colors together. It really does create some beautiful effects. Listening, there are many ways that we can listen. And we will explore those now uh, shortly. Right, let's have a look. Indoor gardening, we're going to start with that. 
It's got so many benefits. First of all, when you see a plant or you see a flower and you go, wow, that's so beautiful. Uh, it just brings a lovely feeling of love into you. Yesterday, my husband brought me a rose from the garden. It was just so beautiful to just have it here and to glance at it during my classes and be able to have it. it oh, Nagras, you're back. Excellent. Lovely to have you back in class. Um, you've been gone for a short while. Uh, now, uh, clear air, it's, it's fabulous for air because you breathe out carbon dioxide. The plants like the carbon dioxide, they absorb it and they release oxygen. So you get fresh oxygen coming through your home. It is so good for you. Some of the plants even collect contaminants from the air. So it really is good. If you like cooking, there's nothing nicer than cooking with fresh ingredients. Small pots of your different plants, that your herbs that you like, on your windowsill in your kitchen, or if you don't have sunlight in the kitchen in any other room, you will be able to then go and pick a leaf of this or a pick a leaf of that, chop it up and put it into the, uh, the, the food. Depending on the size of your pot, that's the size the plant will grow. I have a two foot basil outside my door. I put a small basil in a big pot and I now have this gigantic basil outside. But I've also got a small basil inside that stayed small. So that is perfect. Um, so it really is good to be able to do that. What my husband and I do is we always have a, a jug of water on the dining room table. And into that, we put a slice of lemon and either some mint from the garden or some basil from the garden. It just makes the water taste so nice. It really is beautiful. Um, so cooking is a good one to put your water in. Flowering plants, of course, flowers in your house are beautiful and they just add to your home, both just on the patio or indoors. They are great, easy to look after. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, that's my bowl with my little, I love gnomes. So it's got all the little gnomes playing music. They are in my, my garden and that is so easy to look after. In Bali, you can buy those big glass bowls. They are actually, the glass is, play, is made over the wood. So it's the shape of the wood. So your glass bowl rests beautifully on your piece of wood. I've also got one on a shelf. It also looks stunning because my, my lounge is done out. I collect shells. So my lounge has shells in it and so does my dining room. Um, I have a, a double table that's double glass and on the lower glass I've put all my my shells so when you're sitting at table you look through and you see the shells underneath and of course your flowers are economical they um, are, are you have only got a small place you can do it with seeds if you buy seeds they are inexpensive a few seeds spread at a time gives you a constant flow of flowers and plants so it really is a wonderful way to do it is to have an indoor garden any questions about indoor gardening any ideas for indoor gardening okay Right. Now, listening. We are good at listening. Well, not always, but sometimes. But it's very good to listen to your people that you have met along the way and hear their story. Hear where they've come from. You then get to understand why they are like they are. And sometimes they are such cheerful people. And when you hear their history, you go, how can they be so cheerful? And yet they are, they see the bright side of things and they're an inspiration to us. And we are an inspiration to our families. Uh, one of the people in my previous class, what she did, their whole family got together and they each told, they did a Zoom and they recorded it. They each told 
but their life story. And then those were saved for all the grandchildren, the great grandchildren, and anybody else who wanted to listen. Oh, this is what my aunt did. Oh, this is what my uncle did. Oh, this is what my grandma did. This is what my great grandma did. And you hear the people talking in their own voices, you see their expressions. And it's a lasting thing to keep because Zoom, a Zoom recording, you can keep in the clouds forever. And so many years down the line, they can access these and listen to the story of their families. And I don't know about you, but my granddaughter often says to me, Nangi, you didn't have a tablet when you were little. What did you do all day? You didn't have a TV. No TV. Are you sure? What did you do? Oh, goodness me, Granny, you really need to catch up with the times. And I said, well, the times caught up with me. Uh, she's nine and she's a bright little one. And so I say to her, well, you're very fortunate in having a tablet. So be aware that our history is so different to the history of today. There's been so much that's happened in our lifetime. Cell phones, TVs, microwaves, everything, things that are common to everyone now, but were not common at the time. And so this is very important that they are able to, to do it. Ah, oh, no, Chris, you have no audio shame. Oh, um, maybe Lester can help you with that. Uh, Lester, if you could try and help Nagris with her. Um, ah, there we go. Uh, Akawa is also helping you with that. Um, and see if that will work. Excellent. Now let's have a look. The second form of oh, my computer's really being otherwise with me. Let's try. The second form of listening that we have is you can listen to audiobooks. There are thousands of audiobooks. You can curl up with a good book and just listen to your book, and away it goes. You are able to listen, see, hear, and do. And so it is really great if you can do that. You are then able to, and if you haven't got a lot of time to listen, you can listen to a podcast. Podcasts are short. They can be anything from 10 minutes to an hour long. Uh, Monique, I do give you a whole lot of websites at the end in an email, so you, <laughs> which will help you. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. Uh-huh. Yes, I know. I do the same. <laughs> Uh, but podcasts are awesome and you can also there's one called TED which has everything you can either listen to it or watch it and that has you type in the topic and up comes hundreds of those uh, uh, to do with that topic so it really is great to listen to something I love to sit on the veranda we have a little wild bandicoot that comes from the forest into our garden he's a uh, uh, looks he belongs to the same family as a kangaroo but he's uh, the size of a very large rat or a small cat and he comes in and eats the seeds and eats the dog food and I sit and I watch him he's quite happy if I'm outside and I can listen to a podcast while I'm watching him and it's absolutely beautiful to sit out there we have a tiny garden not a big one but we certainly do a lot in our garden you can also listen on air to talk shows, radio shows, broadcasts, and you can find some old ones from when you were young. When I was in South Africa, uh, every Friday night, nobody went out before half past seven in the evening, because from seven to half past seven was something called uh, squad cars. And you listen to a squad cars. And that was the closest you got to your TV and everybody listened. And then and you would go out after squad cars. But so you can, I can still find that now online if I wish to listen to it. Uh, so you can listen to all kinds of things. You just type them in and up they come. They are magic that they do that. Does anybody use audiobooks or podcasts? Nobody. Ah, oh, it's worth trying and having a look at. You do. Ah, oh, I that? do. 
Patty. Uh, Patty, ah, Patty, you do. That's great. Um, it, it's a lovely way of being able to do it, um, is to, to have that. Um, and if you've just got some time and you just want to close your eyes and just sort of float away, that is an awesome thing to do. Listen, or if your eyes are tired, you've had a long day, lovely way to end your day with a peaceful story that you're listening to if you're not reading it yourself. Right. Now, hobbies. There are many hobbies. I haven't covered the big hobbies like sewing and knitting and crocheting. Those I intend to do in another um, board and busters. What I've stuck to today is I've stuck to the ones that are um, fun ones that you can go on and, and do online. You can do things like a word search. Now, this one I want to try. Um, I'm not sure that it's going to work because my computer is a little bit dicey today, but let's see, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm then going to share a word search with you. Now, as it comes up, you will see a green thing that says Sue is sharing. If it disappears, which it does, take your cursor and either look at the top of your page or the bottom of your screen and it'll come up again. Then next to Sue is sharing, it says options and a little down arrow you click the down arrow and it you it says annotate you click on that so that you can take part with me so let's see if we can get it to come up as i say this is my first time of getting it to come up and it's not showing uh there it is right share right i it's it says uh, sharing screen and Annotate. You need to be able to annotate so that you can draw things and find things. Have you found annotate? Your, it says there's a green bar. Look for the green bar. Then next to the green bar, it says options. Click on options. And then the little down arrow, it says annotate. If you can annotate, can you find anything on my word search? Can anybody see anything on my word search? You Using your annotation tool, you should be able to draw. Can anybody draw on it? Lester, can you draw on it? Just to check it's working. I'm, I'm on the tablet, so I don't know how it works. Uh, just go at the bottom or the top. You should be able to find the green bar. It should come up. Anybody found it yet? No, I don't have a green bar yet. Ah, okay. Uh, it should be at the top of your, your screen or the bottom of your screen. It, you should see it. It says, Sue is sharing her screen. No. Okay, it doesn't look like it's working. Lester, can you do it? Is Lester still with us? Okay, I'm not going to waste time with, with it. I will practice it and make sure that it comes up next time. So, Yo. It depends on the type of device that they're using, uh, where the control is uh, from laptops to cell phones and different type of cell phones. Also, uh, what version of Zoom that they're on to whether right. they have it or not. Okay, because uh, it should theoretically because they went into Zoom be able to. But I will see and, and practice and see where, what I can find out about it. Thanks for the information. Thanks, Akawa. That is great. So now I'm going to go back to sharing my previous screen that I was on. Now, where am I? Here we go. Um, share it and continue. Right. Now, at we also have Sudoku you can play online and you can play Bamboozle. Uh, how many of you play Bamboozle? Any of you I play do. Bamboozle? Ah, well, can you work out some of the ones that we've got here? There are six different Bamboozles here. Which one do you, who can tell oh me? You've got, how many lips have you got there? Well, I've got the one in the middle. Really what quick. is that one? 
What was back that in one? five minutes. Back in five minutes, because there's five minutes and the back is in the middle. Correct. Back in five minutes. Can somebody find another one? Back in five minutes. How many lips are there? How many Two lips? lips. Tulips, yes, tulips. Tulips is tulips. Right. And another one. Coast to coast. You can do coast to coast, but they, that's a, a good one. Coast to coast from edge to edge. Also, if the coast is clear. The coast is clear. Coast is in there because you can see through it. Coast is clear. And what about life and then two lives? One life to live. One life to live. Well done. Yeah. And the the one on the bottom um, left hand corner, I could only come up with one thing and I don't know if it's right. I came up with uh, atrium. A and then a trio and then M, but I could be wrong with that one. And the middle one, the last one with the where is the go? That's go through the motions. Go through the motions or on um, uh, in motion inside the motion there I like your uh, your one as well that but there I, I think there are a couple of variations so that is awesome you can also do origami simple origami and you can put your eggs in it you can play with it we could do some origami in my paper uh, class that I do um from now onwards all of my recycle classes is something to make for us um simple things you'll be told what to bring to class so that we can make things as well you can do jigsaw puzzles online uh, by the way bamboozles is also called dingbats online if you do it on your phone uh, if you've got a, an iphone it's called dingbats and it's great fun to do and then you've got mandalas as well they always work out beautifully now um, we're, um, yeah. Now, our classic games that we used to play, we still can play them online. You can play them virtually with other people. You, some of them you obviously like solitaire. You want to play on your own, but you can play blackjack, go fish, crazy eights, gin rummy. And uh, bridge would be is wonderful to also play online. But playing, obviously, with your friends is even better to be able to play with your friends and have fun. Um, and slowly we are being able to integrate again with others. But bridge, we, bridge is, excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt, but no, bridge no. is very hard to learn. Yes, it is. If, but if you've been a bridge player, then it's, it's easy yes, to do. Yes, it's very good. If you've, I would recommend to anybody start that at a very young age. I was beginning to learn it. I learned it through an, an organization I'm in. And now, you know, we still get together on Zoom every two weeks, but I am forgetting again how to play bridge. Hopefully it will come back to me. But uh, I, It's like a bicycle. It will. Once you've played one round, you'll suddenly well, realize, I, oh, I yeah. You, I certainly hope you're right, but I don't know because I'm getting a little bit old, a lot older. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned when I was young and then I never played for years and years. Oh, well, you are and very, then, that was very smart. Did, were you able to pick it up again? Very quickly. Very, very when, quickly. My, it came well, back. That, means that means how smart you are. Oh, no, not necessarily. I think it does come back to you quite easily um, as you're going along. With, as I say, it's like okay. riding a bicycle. You think, no, I can never do that again. And suddenly you discover, actually, I can. Um, I haven't forgotten what to do. So you know, I, I, my, my grandchildren love playing cards. So whenever they come over, we play cards. Um, but my, my young grandchild, um, he plays Snap with me on Zoom. Um, he puts down the cards and um, he holds them up and we hold up and if they're the same he yells snap snap 
and he thinks he's he thinks he's great at choosing the right cards so we we have fun we he has a pack i have a pack and so you can do it virtually he lives on another continent he lives in africa so i'm unlikely to see him for quite some time um, here's another here excuse me i didn't mean to interrupt again i'm never. the one that always interrupts but don't worry uh, here it's called kings on the corner kings on the corner ah oh, you know that, that. No. Well, write that down because I when I was playing bridge at the senior center, one one table will get one table will get um, done faster than another table, and so while while we're waiting to change and all that, we sit there and play kings on the corner. Oh, fantastic! I'll look that one up. That sounds and, like and my great I'm fun. here at Indi- I'm here at visiting my relatives, and they want to learn how to play kings on the corner. Everybody learns loves kings on the corner. Old people, young people, everybody loves it. Fantastic. I'll certainly look that one up because, as I say, my husband and I enjoy playing cards too. And when we were in South Africa, we had had the family over often and we would end up all playing cards together. So, um, yeah, it's it's great. It's a lovely thing to learn to do and to play with. Right. Now, (sighs) exercise we all hear the word exercise and some people go oh exercise but it doesn't have to be something like that because on get set up there are so many exercise classes on youtube there are so many exercise classes you can do exercise of walking although at the moment we don't enjoy our walking we suddenly have a slap a snap lockdown because one person got the covert so suddenly our city closed down for three days and we've all had to wear masks for three days so walking is not as pleasant for us because we, we're not used to it um, but now we can go out and about again so we go into our local forest which is 50 meters from home and we walk through the forest with the dogs every day and it's such a pleasant thing to do you commune with nature you hear the birds you see the little lizards and sometimes a little snake if you're lucky um, and so you you watch the animals and you hear the, the birds singing and and just being in that nature and natural environment is beautiful uh, if you can do that it's great if you're close to the sea walking along the coast there's nothing nicer than walking just as the water's going and walking and looking at shells and things for me that is the absolute best we are about 10 k's from the coast so we have to drive if we want to go to the beach but it's really not an issue at all But at home, when you are in lockdown, you can still do different types of exercise. You can do your stretch exercises. You can do yoga. You can do all types of exercise. Now that it's summertime, if you have a pool, you're able to swim in your pool. And you're able to spend some time just doing that kind of exercise. I know a number of people who've chosen a different exercise for every day or every second day. So they never get bored. They've got something different to do every day at a particular time of the day. And so it is really nice to be able to do it. Um, How many of you do exercise? And what do you do? Monique, what do you do? Well, usually I walk. And if I'm in a good, uh, let's say, disposition I do some uh, stretching but uh, you know it's hard when you do it by yourself when you're when you're not in a group so I I mean I need a lot of motivation so I so you so you join the classes on get set up because then you're all doing it I've never I've never done that because usually I'm there so early in the morning no no they're at different times um there's one at our our eight there's eight o'clock and nine o'clock in the morning here um which would be in the evening for you eight uh-huh. o'clock in the evening so there are there are definitely classes there so are I, have different to, classes. I have to dig into that yeah definitely dig into that and see what you've got it's well worth it um you will be able to to do there's lots of different ones each person has their own one and some are very gentle some are more stringent uh yes akoa 
what's the meeting ID? I um, wanna um, use my laptop too, then I can participate more than the device I'm on. Your uh, meeting sorry? ID, the meeting I ID for your meeting. Um, ooh, now you're asking me, hold on. I think I can stop sharing and find it for you. Hold on. Um, if you go into, uh, onto the, the Get Set Up website. Oh, Lester, won't you please give Akawa the, the right website, uh, the, the right meeting ID, please? Uh, Lester will give it to you. He'll send you a yeah, message Lisa, with it on. You can send it through chat. Um, yeah. Exercise, um, I'm a bit of a, a gym rat. I do different type of exercise, targeting things, uh, physical exercise, aerobics, uh, semi-aerobics, anaerobics, weight training, weight toning, all the so things. You, ah, so you are very much into it. Great. I did, a lot, I did a lot more exercise before I, I did a very stupid thing and uh, rode a quad bike last year and uh, flew off the quad bike because it hit, a, it was a very muddy area and there was a dent and my bike hit the dent and I was off and the bike rolled behind me uh, and I came off uh, with a little bit hurt to put it mildly. I broke some ribs and tore shoulder muscles. And so since then I've been sort of very gentle with my exercise because I'm, I'm a little nervous of what's going on. Um, so uh, I, I, I enjoy swimming. I used to love playing tennis. Um, we, we, my husband and I used to play tennis. We haven't found that much since we've been in Australia. We've been mainly looking after grandchildren and teaching and doing things. So it's been sort of very much family orientated. Now the grandchildren are moving on and getting older. We are giving, getting more free time to do what we want to do. So we're really looking forward to that. Who else is doing exercise? Anybody else doing exercise? Uh, even if it's just sitting in your chair, stretching. My, my husband says lifting my teacup is my exercise. I get good exercise of my elbow as I lift my teacup every morning and afternoon. Right. Now, virtual travel. Virtual travel is so awesome to be able to do. Um, because you can choose any website of anything. If you want to go and look at the London Museum, you type in London Museum and then up comes your um, the website and it, nine times out of it, saying, it says virtual tour. And you click on the virtual tour and it takes you on a virtual tour of the place. And that is really awesome. If, if I had been able to do that when I was 16 and I went to the Louvre, I had this wonderful idea in my mind that the Mona Lisa was this beautiful big painting that everybody talks about. And when I got there and I went to where it was supposed to be, everybody was ooing and eyeing, and I was going, I can't find the Mona Lisa. I must be blind. There was this tiny little painting, and that was the Mona Lisa. I was so disappointed by it. It really was so disappointing. So I, I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was exquisite. I took a picture of the people <laughs> taking pictures of it. Ah, yes. But I was so upset that it wasn't so big. It is I know. exquisite. I know, it's but I still think it's beautiful. Oh, yes, it is. There's no doubt about it. It still is one of the most beautiful paintings ever painted. But I, my expectation was kind of that it was this size. But And so I was disappointed, I think, by the size, not by the, the quality of the painting. It certainly is. Uh, he he had did, did some magnificent paintings. Right. You can also go to the opera. You can go to the opera, listen to the opera, and be part of the opera. You can uh, go to where you would like to go once we are free to travel again. You can build up a, a bucket list of places. And from that bucket list of places, you can then choose a route, choose a destination, choose a tour you want to make and do so that as soon as you are free and safe to travel, you can do it. So it's a lovely time of building up the anticipation of where you want to go. 
And of course, with the travel programs they have on Get Set Up, you're hearing about places, you're seeing places, you're learning about places. You can also put the 3D glasses on, uh, the virtual reality glasses, I should say, on, and you can be driving your car and you can be doing all sorts of things. You could be playing tennis, you could be playing hockey, any of the old sports you used to do. You can do them with your virtual reality glasses. Safety of your chair. If you are interested in animals, you can go on a safari. There are plenty of those. But one of the nicest things that you can do with that is to be able to um, go and ask, um, uh, click on, I'll give you the website, I think it's called afri.com. There are a number of water holes that have 24 hour cameras. And so you can put them across the top of your computer if you've got a computer. And then during the day, you just go and flick on those ones and see what is drinking at this exact moment at that waterhole. And you can see some amazing sights of these animals coming down to drink. And you can choose your time of day. You can just pop in and out at any time and you are able to see them drinking. And so that is really nice. I think they've got about 20 water holes, but you can choose even one or maybe two that you and see whether those are active water holes or not. So it really is a fun way of doing it. Now, the last thing that we're going to cover is exploring mindfulness. For me, mindfulness was always meditation. And I battle with meditation. My mind is always on the go. And I really have to keep sort of trying to clear it so that I can meditate. It's coming, but it's taking time. Um, but the mindfulness actually is using all five of your senses. You must use all five senses. And so by using them daily, you are getting a wonderful stimulation throughout your body. You can connect with nature. You can touch the trees, touch the grasses, feel the ground under your feet, even if it's through the shoes. You hear those beautiful birds singing. You see the sights inside the forest that you're walking in. And it is just the most wonderful of things. In fact, if you come across wild strawberries or something and you know they're safe, you can even eat something in the forest. But beware of what you eat. If, unless you know it and you know it's safe, don't touch it. You can smell flowers. You can see the flowers. You can touch the flowers. Flowers are absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, my rose has see, seen better days. It's been here for a few days. But the scent is still here with my rose. It, we only put roses in the garden that have a scent. And so all of this aroma comes through and the scents come through. Late afternoon, you can smell them off. The, there's a bit of a breeze. It's really beautiful. So you smell, touch, feel, and, and absorb that flower. You are now filling your mind and your body with peace. You can do meditation. You can sit and listen to music. Water music is one of the most beautiful ones, particularly if you are doing a craft and you're creative, you're painting or you're drawing. Water music brings out the creativity in you. And I, Handel's water music is really a good example of that. I used to do that in my classroom when I taught English. I, and I did it as an experiment. I had two classes, very similar, same age, same topic, same everything. The one class I put music on while they were writing and the other class I didn't. And the creative writing was completely different. The following week, I did the same thing, but swapped the classes. And again, the class with the music, they wrote so much better than the class that did not have the music. And so with that music, when you're drawing, when you're sewing, when you're painting, when you're doing anything, it just brings out that creativity in you. And it's also calming. It just allows your mind to flow and move. So listening to music is a wonderful thing. 
doing your exercises, your stretch exercises, uh, anything like that. You are feeling, you are moving, you are watching others doing it. If it's done to music, you are hearing the music. So you are using as many senses as you can. Now, there's an interesting thing called dragon breathing. And that is a very good way of getting air throughout your body. And I want you to do it with me now. What we're going to do is you just sit up straight and you're going to take a deep breath in as deep as you can. Then you open your mouth and you make your tongue into like a little funnel. And you breathe out all the way. And we do it twice and you'll see how much extra oxygen your body has absorbed during that time. So let's go sit up, take a deep breath, open your mouth with your tongue, breathe out all the way and in Your body feels different. Your body feels rested. It's a lovely thing to do if you are feeling slightly uptight. Another fun one to do that if I'd only known when I was younger, it would have helped me so much, is if you are irritated or something is bugging you or you are upset, you say to yourself five times, either out loud or in your head if you're in company, I like myself. Not I love myself, I like myself. And if you say that five times, by the end, you are all smiling. I like myself. 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 And by the end of that, you can't help it. You are smiling. Whatever was irritating or bugging you is still there, but it's not at the top of your body. It's not there sort of in your face. It's does that mean you're side. mad at your excuse me? Does it mean you're mad at yourself or does it mean you're mad or somebody else irritated you? Both. If you irritated oh, really? with yourself or if somebody's irritated you. Or somebody anything, did something to irritate you. Yes. You still say exactly. you like myself. I like myself. Yes. You don't say I, I like, like Mary. I don't like, mm -hmm. I like Mary. I like Mary. Okay. No, okay. Myself. I like myself. It then brings confidence into yourself that whatever that person said to irritate you is no longer as irritating as it was two minutes ago. It just seems to take the edge off anything. Thanks. We had a, That's great. We had a, a case where um, a gentleman parked his car right on top of us and my husband couldn't get out of the car and the man could see what he'd done and my husband asked him very nicely if he could just move his car over and he was thoroughly rude and he banged his door against the car and he really was a... And, my husband got really angry and irritated and I said to him like yourself and he sat there going I like myself 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 oh what a painful man let's move the car turned the car on drove out found another parking and away we went it just took that edge and that big irritation off and I've taught that to my classes I've taught it to my grandchildren and it really does work it's I, as I say, had I known it many years ago, it would have saved me a lot of irritation uh, a long way. Now, the last thing I'd like you to try and do every day, it doesn't take long, is to find a different spot either in your house, outside, anywhere, and look for the five things that we have. So you've got the, the five mindful things. So the first one that you have is find five things you can see. And they must be things you don't always see. They're there, but you don't notice them very much. Oh, that's where the keys are. I can see them now. I was looking for them yesterday. And you find five things to look at. And you look at those things with a new look. You look at them and maybe reminisce about something or think for how beautiful it is or what the aroma is. Maybe you're standing in the kitchen, you're looking at five bottles of herbs. Uh, what do I use them for? Just 
looking and thinking of five things that you can see. Then find four different things that you can touch. So now you go and find things that you can actually feel. Try and choose things that are rough and smooth. And um, so you get the different textures of what you are feeling, squishy, anything like that. Then listen and find three things to hear. Now, in order to hear to the very best of your ability, what you do is you take your two fingers, the, these two fingers, and you put one on either side of your ear and you rub your ear all the way down and then up again. And if you do it with both ears, you'll be amazed, but just with one ear. Now listen, everything is clearer because you have taken all the little senses that are on the end of the ear and they are trapping sounds that you hadn't heard before. And the sounds become clearer and louder. And so it is quite amazing that what you were hearing and what you're hearing now is suddenly louder. And if I, I often when my somebody's talking and they, I can't hear them really clearly, I quickly do it to my ears and I can hear them just that much better. And so that's a lovely way of hearing. Then find two things to smell. One might be a beautiful aroma and another one might not be such a good scent. Um, but find two things that you can smell. And lastly, find one thing to taste. If it isn't where you are standing, go and find something in the kitchen that you can taste. And so you you're now using all five senses in one go. And then later on in the day, you can go back and look at the things you were looking at or see if you can hear the same sounds maybe later on in the day. And just using your senses, that stimulates your brain a great deal. And all the little synapses, more synapses join because you are now using your senses as well as your, because they are all passing through your brain. You are making your brain work without really making an effort to make it work. So I, I hope that from all of these ideas, you can go away with at least one you would like to try. Something throughout the presentation that I've done that stuck with you and you thought, oh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to try that. So that is what my aim is for that. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you'd like a copy of the recording, it's at help at getsetup.io. You can get your copy and you'll be able to then um, be able to see and, and do it slowly as you wish. Has anybody got anything else they would like to say? Any ideas? Any thoughts? I like I it too. Yes, Peggy. I find, I find this is helpful for all ages. Oh yes. Oh yes. I, mean, I, I forget. I forget things. I know other people get forget things. I know other people get very very mad and need to calm down. Uh, excellent. It, it's just. To me, it's, it's helpful for children. It's helpful for any age in many, many ways. And it's fun to meet people from other countries. I love to, I love to meet people from other countries, learn about their customs. I love their language. I love, I love to hear people's different languages. I think it's uh, charming. They are, and they've all got their own special, unique. Every, every country is unique and every person's unique. So it is awesome. It really is. Anybody else want to say something before we close the class today? I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I hope to maybe True. see you. In yeah. What's uh, uh, the lady's name that's helping you? She, like uh, assisting you with. Uh, Lester. Lester. It's a he. Lester. L-E-S-T-E-R. Lester. He's at the bottom. Oh, Lester. Of the yeah. Lester. Lester. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I want to. Um, Oh, first, I, I wanted to share. In the kitchen, I have uh, a plant. I, I years ago liked the garden, but then I stopped. 
but it helps me to feel better. And, uh, so I have this, like a tomato plant that's hanging up. Like some people would hang a flower in the kitchen. And I just get a big kick out of being able to grow little cherry tomatoes and pick them off my vine and put them in my little salad right there. Just, it gives me uh, pride, you know. Uh, it does. It does give you pride. You're quite right. It gives you pride in being able to do something. I know I've grown this and this is mine and I talk to it every day and I, look what it's giving me. It's giving me back some beautiful cherry tomatoes. That is awesome. That yeah. really is great. But I, I, this is the first time I joined your class and I really, really enjoyed you and Lester and everyone else. And I'm, I'm going to ask if I could get everybody to real quick unmute yourself and let's give Lester and Sue a big hand. Thank, thank you. you. So <laughs> oh, no, thank <laughs> you. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Was, thank you. Uh, no, it's a pleasure. It's been great to have all of you with me and with Lester to help me along the way is always great. Uh, and I hope to see you in some of the other classes that we have. The, the new month is not up yet, but um, the rest of this week is, is up. We've got uh, upcycling where we use things that we have at home in the garden. We've got upcycling mementos, upcycling in the garden. We've got um, creating from toilet roll. You'll be amazed what you can create from toilet rolls. Um, the beautiful flowers and all sorts of things that we will be doing. Um, we also doing things with uh, clothes pigs and oh, you call them clothes pins and uh, popsicle sticks, creating amazing things for us. It's my new series. Is I have one more time. Excuse me. Mm. I have yes, one Peggy. more thing. To... I found. Um... A really pretty thing to make flowers. You take um, pine dead pine cones and you mm -hmm. paint them. You mm -hmm. paint them, and then you can make. You, I, I don't know what you make for the stick. What do you use for the? I guess you just use a regular stick, and mm -hmm. and it looks like what kind oh, of flower? Oh. Whatever, and it looks like it looks like irises. It looks like um, what? What kind of flowers does it look like? I don't know. Anyway, it looks <laughs> well. Bring it next time, Peggy, and let's have a look. The idea is to share ideas and share things. So okay. uh, please I, I, bring that, it that was you. quite pretty. You can change the colors. It's it's mm -hmm. lovely. Bye. Oh, awesome. I look forward to seeing it. I really do. I Bye. think it would be great. No, I, I just saw a picture of it. I haven't made it. Well, if you find the picture, you could maybe show us the picture of it and then we can work out yeah. how to make it. Okay, thank you. It was great today. Oh, but great to have you in class and I look forward to seeing all of you again at some stage. Have a lovely rest of the evening. Bye for now. Bye. Have a nice day for you. Uh, will do. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.